I am Zach Colzern with Apex 360 and we are kicking off day three of IDS 2017 and I'm very excited to be here at 3D Systems with the President and CEO, VJ. that's all they call him. VJ, how are you? I'm doing great, Zach. Good, we have some exciting stuff to talk about today. Um, 3D printing, additive manufacturing is the story of this show. How does 3D Systems fit in? Well, I think, you know, if you think about dental industry, 3D printing is the best opportunity. You know, there are six billion people, 32 teeth. These are all custom, so 180 billion teeth you right. can think about, okay? <laughs> Lots of parts. <laughs> That's right. And you know, the technology that we have, we can do custom parts. So think about crowns and dentures. You know, it's a big business. Mm -hmm. And what you can do with our printer and our materials is you can do one crown not in just 15 minutes, just like a milling machine does. You could do 40 crowns in 15 now, minutes. Hold on, we, we want to get this right. So we have 40 yes. in 15 minutes, Yes. right? So uh, in 2015, there were just whisperings of how this manufacturing was going to you know, explode. But yeah, tell us more about that. Yeah. How, how, how does this work? I, I think it's about the three parts, right? There is a digitization. So scanners are becoming right. a big deal. And you can see on this show here, so many scanners. Mm -hmm. The workflow is all done. It's now about materials and printers. And we have materials with Nextent, you know, which is really working in 70 countries. It's all regulatory done. Not only that, but the printer is very versatile. You could do crowns, you could do dentures, you could do surgical guides, and the fast, the productivity. As I said, you could do 40 crowns now in 15 minutes. The other part is with additive, you're only using the material that you need, like two grams. Like in subtractive, you start with a big material block, and then you're going to take it out. Right. So a lot of waste. So cost structure is much better. Mm -hmm. Total cost of operations will be one-tenth, faster speed, and versatility. So we're talking about, what, small labs here who would be I using I think it will be used by everybody. Everybody. From the, all the way to chair side to big labs. Okay, so this is This is the really, way up. Very, very big option. Then talk to me about the applications. So think about it, you know, so if I am a um, dentist, right? Right now, it takes me a long time to send the particular uh, crown or a denture to the lab. Sure. And it comes back, it's expensive. So I think we can really reduce the time to serve for the lab and the cost structure of the lab you know, will come down significantly. The other part is, right now they have different processes and they are manual processes. So as for example, for dentures, you know, the fit is not right. Once you have a digital and an accurate machine, you know, you're going to get the right kind of a denture right away. So tell me, what has the response been at the show thus far? So I think people are really surprised at how fast we can print. People are also surprised that this could be this versatile. So I think this is going to be a big deal. Well, great. Well, we're going to talk to Rick about some of the materials that are in great. use. So let's get to him. Thank great. you very much, Zach. Thank you. Thank you. We're still at the 3D Systems booth, but you guys have come together. Tell me about that. Yeah, so uh, we were acquired by 3D Systems, uh, let's say at the end of January this year. So only six uh, to eight weeks ago. Uh, so what we did was we developed 12 um, materials uh, for dental applications. We are the first company in the world who has the official registration in more than 70 countries for so these more, sorry, applications. Sorry, more than 70 countries, exactly. 12 different materials. Yeah, yes. for dental applications. Um, 3D systems, uh, they produce an incredible piece of hardware, which is called the figure four. And in combination with our biologically proved materials, we really can disrupt the dental industry here. You're talking about in terms of cost, speed, efficiency, yeah. all of the above. Yeah, uh, predictability. So we are designing, we are using CAT CAM, we can predict the treatment, we can uh, save a lot of uh, time. When you save a lot of time in this industry, uh, immediately you, you save a lot of money as well. Um, but in the end, we have better fitting products for the patient. Because after all, we are doing all this for patient and better healthcare. And you told me that these applications that we're going to talk about, they've been approved in the US, they've gotten FDA approved. Exactly. So one year ago, we got the approval uh, for permanent applications. And then I'm talking about uh, orthodontic applications. Um, I'm talking about crown and bridge applications. And I'm talking about the full dentures. 
We are the only company in the world who has the registration FDA in the US and CE in Europe for all these three main applications. There is no other who can do this or did this so far. That's amazing. Now tell me a little bit more about these materials. How did, they, how did you develop them or how did they come to uh, develop? Our company is not a new company. We are existing already for more than 75 years. So we know exactly what kind of material works in the, in the mouth of the patient for a long period of time. What we did is we changed the formulations of the products which were uh, produced manually into a photopolymer being able to produce by a 3D printer. So actually the characteristics are more or less the same with the existing products which are already used for a long period of time. We found 3D systems to produce a perfect piece of hardware and in combination with this we can approve the security and the biocompatibility uh, for the patient. That's amazing. So if I'm a dentist in the US or if, I'm a, if I own a lab, what's the next step? How do I get involved? So we are going to roll this out very seriously. Uh, we are going to apply distributors, the best one, the famous one. We are going to uh, use training. We are going to give the best possible service so that they know for what kind of application, what kind of situation they can apply, what kind of material. Anyhow, now we can go to a next generation of dentistry, which is meaning 3D printing. Besides all the advantages I mentioned, there is one more, and that's sustainability. Why to produce waste when we don't have to? Uh, why not uh, use software to design a perfect fitting appliance when we can? There's no more reason not to embrace this. So it's ready for use, it's efficient, it's cost effective, Minimize waste, sounds like it's a total package. It is, and uh, the, the feedback from this show is amazing. Everybody would like to start tomorrow. <laughs> of course, we are going to s s uh, roll it out step by step, uh, but in the end, I think in a matter of one, two, three years, everybody will have a printer in his practice or in his lab. Rick, this is a great update. Exciting stuff, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much, you're welcome. Good to see you.